Christmas for me today. Well, I really enjoyed it. It's been far this day, so I'm not lovely conversation. Okay, well, I can say I've started this, this thing as well, packed. Cardboard, I'm going to have to put the top of the I'll bring it upside down, I hope. Look at this, we've got a box inside a box, or a packing inside a packing at least. I'm just going to see what heavy is going to take out the side packing. Just discard that out of the way. Get rid of this. And just cut through this. Probably not the best place to cut it, because it oh, doesn't really matter, does it? Not so good. I mean, you can see that. So, okay, so well, that's not so good being broken. This is the input cable. It's sort of given an indication that that was, but it had been repaired, it said, in the advert, I'm sure. I don't know if it can be repaired, I don't know if it's. Sort of stuff you can actually just super glue, but I think that's probably what I'm gonna have to do because I can't really use it like that. It's a bit oil or something, I'm not quite sure what that is, but so this is a very it says it's foreign. But this is the reason why I bought the um, this is the reason why I bought the um, the, the uh, isolation tester because I just want to make sure that this is okay for use. Now this is a naught 240 volt input and it's got a naught 265 volts so we can overvolt it on the output. I'm trying to get that light out of the picture. No can't. It's got a halo look. Um, but that, that's not very good. That's not very good. Look, and it's like... What the hell? Well, that's not going to help it, you know, be good, is it? That's not, that's not going to... So if somebody's tried bonding this, they I don't know they tried bonding it with oil, grease or something. Oh, what should I expect? The bloke was a bit of a problem anyway, to be fair. So, um, charged me £15 for sending it here and he's not even sent it in such a way. It's even clean. I need some tissue. This will be another one of those things you know, that uh, if I find a problem with it. Oh, 
It looks like that's insulated. I hope it is. Sort of scratch down the. You can see inside there. Where's that pen? I'm not getting bloody grease everywhere. I'm not going to do me in. Then. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, that's all we got the meter. That's why we have the meter. I can't, I can't, you know, this is like, this is supposed to be repaired. I'm just going to try and clean what I can off that, because obviously it's not going to repair very well. The whole thing, the whole thing is broken. So there's no way is it gonna stick if it's not even clean. I can't believe that, you know, they'd sell it saying it's been repaired and they've just used some sort of blackener or something to make it look like it's repaired, but well, I suppose this is the problem with eBay, isn't it, sometimes? It's just and then it's all down to you whether you can bother to send it back. So it makes you wonder what happened to it for it to have this sort of uh, damage in the first place and how much of a thump that must have been to have broken this. But it doesn't even get it together properly. So I don't know about trying to get a repair on it as such. I mean, it might be able to. All I can do is super glue it. I don't have any epoxies or anything like that, but I am going to complain to the fella. I am going to... Because it's supposed to be repaired. I'm not supposed to have to... get the hell many things to come in lately? That the, these last few things have all been something I've got to sort out. So... I'm going to... Um, I'm going to take a picture of it. And I'm gonna send uh, I'm gonna send it to him and see what he says. And of course he'll probably suggest that I've done that, but <laughs> I've recorded me taking it out of the box, which seems to be such a good idea these days. We'll see what he says anyway.